The densification of 5G both outdoors and in is a critical issue for the industry, one that Nokia is resolving. Mark is back to tell us more about how he's resolving that. Mark. Yeah, indoor densification in 5G is more important than we saw in any of the previous generations of products, mainly because of the frequency bands. So in 5G, you have high frequency bands where you have a lot of capacity, but high frequency bands struggle to penetrate through walls. And so then you need indoor solutions to densify. And we have a great portfolio of what we call micro RH, which are slightly higher power products for venues. We have a portfolio of millimeter wave products. And then we have have the airscale indoor solution, which is brilliant for enterprise type use cases where you need to put a lot of Pico RHs similarly to how you would deploy Wi-Fi hotspots. When it comes back to baseband, a lot of analyst commentary about the success of that product. How do you take it to the next level? So Typically, baseband scales in terms of capacity, and, and that's very important because traffic growth is exponential and will continue to be so as far as we can see into the future. So our baseband is a single RAN philosophy, so we're able in the same box to accommodate 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, and operators are not switching off the legacy technology and switching on the new technology at the same time. There's always a crossover period. Then the modularity, so being able to combine the older cards with the newer ones, so you have investment protection in the baseband. So we have a great portfolio for this year and more to come next year as well with the next generation of chipsets, which then comes into the next generation of baseband cards. So a lot on your plate right now. What else is going on? Yeah, a lot, lot of fun stuff. So we're spending a lot of time on energy efficiency. We launched our so-called liquid cooled base station, where instead of using conventional cooling, where you have a lot of air conditioning and fans, we're actually using water to cool the base station. So very innovative solution, which you can see somewhere on our booth today. We have a new ruggedized outdoor base station, typically for more rural use cases or suburban use cases where you don't want to put shelters, air conditioning, cooling on a site and you just want the baseband parked next to the radio. We have a great path now into the cloud. So taking our same software that we have on the traditional baseband with the same RF portfolio, but using cloud-based technologies to scale upwards. And this is great when we think about then hybrid networks. So we're going to have networks of the future where part is cloud, part is classical baseband that we have today, and all the features need to work in the same place. So it's going to be really exciting to see how customers adopt these new products through the year. Mark, thank you so much for your time. Hey, thank you very much. Have a good week. You too. Mobile World Congress continues here in Barcelona. I'm Michael Hainsworth.